Okay, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to do um, basically expand on uh, what we know right now. Um, I don't want to stack too many concepts on you, but this is this should be a relatively short video. Um, so what we want to do here is I want to create two SIP clients, and uh, I'm actually going to make this a bit easy for myself by uh, close this window, and all I'm going to do is copy this and let's go ahead and paste that's all it takes so here I'm going to change 1000 to 1001 here and I'll do the same thing for the secret remember the secret can be anything this username can be anything I'm just specifying that to be numbers makes it easier for me so I can at this point save um, let's bring back uh, our other window here. Um, we want to open the extensions configuration again. And so now we have two users here to work with. See how easy that was? And now I want them to have the ability to call each other. So remember, the format here extend the equal sign greater than sign or less or whatever sign that is um the number dialed comma the step comma the function so really this is just going to be a, actually a one-step process here all it's going to be is um extension when i dial for example 1000 i want to dial the user the SIP user 1000 and uh, that's it it's as easy as it is when it's when you dial 1000 dial the username 1000 all right understand that all because we created a user um, called 1000 here does not mean that when you dial 1000 by default it's going to dial that user no we have to specify it here in fact if you really want to just be uh, confusing if you dial 1000 with this configuration what I just wrote here if you dial 1001 it's going to call 1000 username 1000 I hope you can grasp this concept um, well, maybe I shouldn't have confused you. But the whole idea is what you dial here and what actually is the function occurs here. So let's go ahead and go to the second part. Extend 1001. The first step for that is just to simply dial SIP user 1001. And we can. Um, in this function we can actually specify another variable uh, you can look up functions online but uh, if you put a comma in here and put a number uh, this comma and this number here this is uh, specifying the amount of times we want it to ring for before it simply gives up and goes on to the next step so just an FYI oh, uh, let me get rid of that So, just an FYI, but this is what we're accomplishing, Sim simply the ability for these two users to call each other. So we can save this, and make sure I save the other one, and now we can get out. Remember, whenever we make a change, we have to go to asterisk, terminal, and just type reload. And we can exit out of that. So now... Let's see if it works. So I have this client already set up from our last video with username 1000. I'm going to bring up another SIP client. Um, this is from this another free little SIP phone called Express Talk. I actually like it. It has a, some neat features when it comes to um, when it comes to voice over IP, like determining uh, NAT traversal, things like that. So I find it cool. And I, uh, I also programmed this guy earlier, uh, if I go to line here, for user 1001, this is the IP address of the SIP server, 
and uh, we're ready to test it out. This guy's registered as well, it seems. So, yes, registered on the very bottom. I don't know if you can see it. So, this is 1000. Let's see what happens when we dial 1001. Alright. So, it works. And if I dial 1000 here, I see the call over here. So, very, very interesting. And how we can now call each other here. That's what our dial plan basically accomplished. In fact, you should see what happens if I dial 1000. So what's happening there? You can see on my line 1, I'm calling out. On line 2, I'm receiving a call from myself. See, doesn't the SIP user, it doesn't matter. Um, what number he dials in. What determines how the call is going to take place doesn't matter what his username is. He could call himself because the Astro server, the way we have it configured right now, is if you dial 1000, doesn't matter who you are, call 1000. And you can end up calling yourself. So, um, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we do have a bit more time, so I can actually introduce you to one more concept before we leave. And um, this is the end uh, variable. So imagine here, uh, and keep in mind, so we still have this configuration here. If either of those phones dial 999, we get the hello world. So what if we have a really long script? What if it's not just hello world, it, it goes step one through step, all the way to a step 100. That's going to be annoying uh, typing N, uh, uh, typing number, next number, next number, next number. And what if we have to put a step in between? Think about that. You're going to have to redo a lot of numbers. If, you're, if step 50, we have to insert uh, another step between 50 and 51. Well going to be changing a lot of numbers so one way to get around this is to simply put in the letter N put in the letter N okay, delete the numbers so what this does is since it is next after the 1 it's the line below the 1 it will automatically assume it's 2 since this one is below the one above it, it's going to automatically assume it's three. Mind you, our script, we could have written it in this fashion if we really wanted to. Um, oh, well, messed up the point there. Um, there we go. That's what I'm saying. What would happen in this script? It would answer, then step two is hang up. It's done. So understand, um, you can put this in, it doesn't matter what the order was uh, in terms of line after line, the steps determine how uh, the call will process. But obviously you should have things in line, in the row, and uh, it just helps when you have that letter N. This way you don't really have to think about it too much. I hope you understand what I mean and what I'm saying. So. Alright, let's go ahead and end this video here and we'll do another lab in the next video.